Hello and welcome to the next thought for the day in the series that I'm doing on the mnemonic Great Dream, which helps us to remember the 10 keys to happiness. So far, we've covered G for giving, R for relating, E for exercise, A for awareness, and today we're on to the letter T in the word great. And that letter is to stand for the words trying out, trying out new things. I have to say that over this last year, I've been blown away by many of you who, having previously declared yourselves too old for all that internet stuff, to have tried it out. Well done. Genuinely well done. And I know many of you now use your new learning to listen to these thoughts for the day. Some of you are even sending emails. And some of you are even joining in with worship on a Sunday morning using Zoom and are coming to some of our meetings using Zoom. You tried out something new and actually, I think, I think most of you would say it has been a godsend to you during the pandemic. Now, trying out new things isn't all about getting online, obviously, but that's just one example. I also have tried out new things over this last year, and also, interestingly, most of them this time round have been focused on things to do with IT. I, too, have discovered the, the wonders of Zoom. I've learned how to record videos. In fact, I'm doing that right now. Um, I've learned how to edit videos. I've learned how to put them together. I've done assemblies online and services online and much more. And at times there's been huge frustrations when I just couldn't quite work something out. And other times there's been frustrations when actually I'd rather just to have seen somebody face to face. But being, having been willing to try out the new things, it has meant that I've been able to stay connected with so many of you in ways that I never would have been this last year if I hadn't tried. Others of you have tried out other new things. Some of you have joined in an online discipleship group, be that the Alpha group that we did online or the Lent group that we're currently doing online or the Advent group that we did over Advent. And we've done other things too. And I know for some of you who in the past have said, no, joining a house group isn't for me, having then done it, you've discovered actually it's been great. You've grown in your faith, but you've also grown new friendships. You tried something new and you've benefited along the way. But it's really interesting, isn't it, how... For most of us, if we're not careful, we can actually often be quite resistant to trying out new things. And I guess part of the reason for that is because actually bottom line is that when we're trying out new things, often it means that we have to change. And most people find change hard. Certainly they find the idea of it hard. But as this year goes on and we work our way through COVID and how all that's going to develop with restrictions easing and we'll have to see how that all pans out. But as we think about how we proceed over the year as a church and churches and the villages too, we will be trying to learn from some of the new things that we've learned during the pandemic. And as part of that, we'll be making decisions about where we go from here. We're going to want to carry on with some of those new things that we've tried out because actually we've discovered that they're really good. But of course, for, as we carry on with some things, it's going to mean that some of the things we used to do may have to stop because actually there are only so many hours in the day. We can only do so much and we can't go back to doing everything we did before and carry on with all the new stuff we've been doing and manage to do it well. But as the year goes on, I do really encourage you to engage with some of the new things that we choose to continue with. And maybe too, just as we're beginning to think about things opening up again, to think about what other new things might you try over this next year. Please resist just trying or wanting to go back to how things were before. Things are never going to be the same as they were before. I know that new things and trying out new things 
may feel daunting. Yet if we have the courage to try them, we may well find that they need lead to new life in ways that we'd never imagined. So maybe for you that might mean joining a new group, whether that's online or in person when we're allowed, or volunteering to help out in the community or in the church, or learning a new skill, or if you haven't done it yet, discovering Zoom, whatever it might be, try something new. Because you see, the key, one of this particular key to happiness, and a reminder that these keys have been evidentially researched, but this key, trying out new things, has shown that people's well-being improves when they do it. Do note that it says try out rather than succeed at. If you try something out and actually it really doesn't do anything for you or work for you, well, that's okay, you've tried it. Stop and try something else. But you might find that actually it gives you a new lease of life. But if some of you, let's just think, had never tried to get online this year, you wouldn't be listening to this now. Sometimes we just have to take that first step and give it a go. And let's not forget, we worship a God of new things. Isaiah 43 tells us that God is doing a new thing. What one new thing might you try? or at least be open to trying. Next time someone says to you, go on, try it, what will you say? I dare you, give it a go, try out a new thing. <laughs>